So she has a fistula, upper arm fistula, okay? Mm -hmm. This here, this connection here, mm -hmm. this right here, that is the anastomosis, mm -hmm. okay? So for those of you that had been asking, how does the anastomosis look? This is her anastomosis. So that's where the vein, which this part is the vein, connect with the artery. The artery is coming below that anastomosis, okay? Mm -hmm. So remember that when we have a fistula, we stick the vein portion of that fistula. And since this, fistula, this vein is connected to the artery, you can see in the, in the area that is closer to the artery, you can actually see it like pumping oh. stronger. Do you see that? You can probably see that from where you're yeah, at. Yeah. You see? So when you come to see her, when you come to um, experience the fistula. the fistula, what you're going to do, you're gonna go with your two fingers, you're gonna start at the anastomosis, okay? Mm -hmm. You're gonna apply pressure. Many students usually just do like this and they can't feel it and Corin pushes their, <laughs> their fingers down. So just come, it doesn't hurt. Just come in, apply pressure, okay? And you're gonna feel the thrill. And it's going to be like a hard pulsation. It feels like a river going through. So from, yeah, you can see my fingers. It pushes my fingers, okay? So from there, you're gonna do this and you're gonna go up. As you move up, you can feel that it starts fading away okay so we need that because we need the strongest portion of this to feed the machine because the machine has a pump so this area the flow has to be strong enough so that we can run the pump at the um uh, the speed that the doctor ordered okay and then we need it to be less stronger in this area because this is the part that's receiving the blood when it comes back to the to the patient so we don't want a lot of resistance if we've had that flow up here it'll be pushing the blood back increasing the pressures of the machine and it's going to be alarming and stopping on machine and it's going to be difficult to give this treatment okay so again you're going to come from the bottom and you're going to move up so this is what you're feeling so you're feeling for that thrill, you're feeling to see if it, ha if it has any flattened areas because any flattened areas could suggest a stenosis. Mm -hmm. So these are things that we're going to report. Then with the stethoscope, you're gonna do the same thing. With the stethoscope, you're gonna place the stethoscope here and you're gonna listen for the brewy, okay? And then you're gonna listen, it, it, again, it has like a, that, a river sound, a flow in there. So you're going to move up with that stethoscope and as you move up, it fades away. Now, if you hear a high pitch noise, like something like that, like very high pitch noise, it could mm -hmm. be that there's a stenosis. Mm -hmm. So the flow is making a lot of effort to go through a part of the vein that has narrowed. So that's important to report. Now this section here that she mentioned, this section here, this is where they transposed the vein, okay? It's called transpose. We talked a little bit about, in, about it inside of the modules, but it's called transpose. And not many patients have a vein that have fistula that has been transposed. So that's why I'm pointing this out because you may not see this in every patient. Mm -hmm. Her vein was lower and then the surgeon pulled it up. And that's why you see this big um, uh, scar here. That is not an anastomosis, okay? The anastomosis is this part here. Okay, so you guys ready? Wow. Mm -hmm. Yay, okay. Let's do this. Minute. I took for a minute to just, okay.
put my hands on it and I was like, okay, I think it's gonna pop if I keep pressing. <laughs> <laughs>